Hello everyone. Welcome to Botany Optional Channel for the UPSC examination. In today's video, we are going to see origin of bryophytes. That is, how bryophytes were originated. In this, we are going to see the two hypotheses. That is the Theridophytian hypothesis and then algal hypothesis. All right. So, talking about the origin of bryophytes, there is nothing definite or very little information is available about the origin of bryophytes that that is the no clear information is available about the origin of bryophytes and things are still confusing in nature all the views regarding the origin of bryophytes are depending upon the evidences like comparative morphology of living plants and antagony of living plants plus analogies with the living plants of the other group comparative morphology of the living plants that is we in this we are going to compare the bryophyte plants with the rest of the plants and to find out the similarity between the morphology to know the ancestry of the bryophytes then we can also use the antigeny of the living plants and then analogies with the other living plant groups to know the origin of bryophytes all right now the bryologists are divided on the two fronts about the origin of bryophytes that is bryologists have two different view about the origin of bryophytes the first view is that the bryophytes are originated from the pteridophytes and this view is come to known as pteridophytian hypothesis while the another group says that the bryophytes were originated from the algal plants and this hypothesis is come to known as the algal hypothesis so the bryologist give two different theories about the origin of bryophytes first is the pteridophytian hypothesis and second is the algal hypothesis all right we will see this one by one so what is pteridophytian hypothesis the follower of this camp holds that the bryophytes are descendant from the pteridophytes now this group that is the the group which follows the pteridophytian hypothesis says that the, the bryophytes were descendant from the pteridophytes that is literally means the bryophytes were originated from the pteridophytes and to support this view they have given the following two points that is the close similarity between the sex organs of both that is the bryophytes and the pteridophytes all right that is the there is a very close similarity between the sex organs of the bryophytes and pteridophytes then again there is a second point there is a similarity between the sporogonium of the anthroceros and the terminal sporogonium of the fossil pteridophytes such as the sporogonites and the horniophyta that is the sporogonium of anthroceros which is an bryophyte shows the close resemblance with the fossil of pteridophytes which is come to call as the sporogonites and the horniophyta and that is why depending upon these two points the pteridophytian hypothesis says that the pteridophytes were ancestors of the bryophytes all right now beside this there are other characters as well which are found similar in both the groups they are like similarity in their pigments that is the bryophytes and pteridophytes both have similar pigments then similarity in the structure of cell wall that is the both bryophytes and pteridophytes have similar cell walls at the same time bryophytes and pteridophytes have same food reserves and also there is a similarity in the reproductive methods and the life cycle of both that is the bryophytes and pteridophytes so all these points favors that the pterido, the bryophyte may have descended from the pteridophytes all right now due to these similarities the follower of these groups strongly presume that bryophytes are evolved from the pteridophytes by the progressive simplification or say reduction as you all know pteridophytes are more evolved as compared to bryophytes right so if we say that bryophytes were originated from the pteridophyte there must have been some reduction that is progressive simplification or say reduction that is the progress is happening in a evolutionary line but there is a simplification not the complex generally the evolution goes from simple to complex right but in this hypothesis what they have said the bryophytes were evolved from the 
pteridophytes by the progressive simplification that is the structure got simpler not the complex or say reduced all right as you all know that pteridophytes are the vascular plants right they have their own vascular bundles but on the other hand bryophytes do not show any presence of vascular bundle right the pteridophytian hypothesis group suggests that during the evolution by the method of progressive simplification or say reduction bryophytes were evolved from the pteridophytes all right now this view of the origin of bryophytes is strongly supported by the scholars like scott lang haskell kashyap and the others all these research scholars favor the pteridophytian hypothesis of the origin of bryophytes all right but this hypothesis that is the pteridophytian hypothesis is now re stands rejected now what are the reasons why the pteridophytian hypothesis got rejected the opponents of this hypothesis that is the that is the scholars which are in oppose of the pteridophytian hypothesis points out that the complete absence of any relic of the lost vascular system in the sporophyte of today's bryophytes that is they claim that if the bryophytes were evolved from the pteridophytes that is then why there is no presence of any relic about the vascular bundle that is you cannot find any evidence of presence of vascular bundle in the bryophytes but on the other hand pteridophytes have very good vascular bundles right so according to opponent group if there were the progressive simplification there must have been some relics or say some remains of the vascular bundles in the bryophytes but we do not find any relic of the vascular system in the sporophyte of today's bryophytes that literally point out to the bryophytes are not originated from the pteridophytes if so some part of the vascular bundle may have remained in the bryophytes but it is not happened right and that is why the opponents got this point in a very straight way that bryophytes cannot be originated from the pteridophytes this is why this pteridophytian hypothesis now stands discarded that means the pteridophytian hypothesis is completely disregarded by today's botanist now second hypothesis we have is a algal hypothesis now the supporter of this hypothesis believes that in the aquatic ancestry of the bryophytes that is the the followers which follow the algal hypothesis strongly suggest that the origin of bryophytes is from the aquatic habitat that is bryophytes were originated from the aquatic habitat that is they hold that bryophytes are originated from the algae that literally means these bryophytes were originated from the algae the supporter of this hypothesis formulated their views on the basis of similarity found in algae and the bryophytes as follows the presence of flagellated sperms in bryophytes which is require water for the fertilization is the strong sign that bryophytes have aquatic origin like you have studied about the bryophytes you know there are flagellated sperms which totally dependent on the water for the fertilization right that that this point literally suggests that the bryophytes must have developed from the aquatics that is they must have came from the aquatic background or say aquatic origin then there is a second point the similar development of green filamentous algae like protonema structure as a juvenile stage in some bryophytes you have studied the protonema structure is found in the some bryophytes is also a characteristic feature of some green filamentous algae now this point which shows the protonema structure in both the groups that is in algae as well as in the bryophytes again making them a very close relatives of the each other right is again the strong sign that these bryophytes have their origin in the algae all right so there are two points which suggest that the bryophyte must have originated from the algae that is first is the presence of flagellated sperm in the bryophytes which require compulsory water for the fertilization and there is a second point of a protonema structure which is found in a green algae as well as in the bryophytes all right within the algal groups bryophyta shows the more similarity with the green algae as compared with the brown algae 
Now within the alkyl groups, we have different alkyl groups like green algae, brown algae, red algae, right? But within these groups, the bryophytes shows the close relationship with the green algae. Now in this, they both have identical photosynthetic pigments. That is the green algae and bryophytes have similar photosynthetic pigments. Then both shows the thallus-like plant body. Then both lack the vascular tissues. It, this point is very important as algae plus bryophyte both lack the vascular tissues. But on the other hand, if we say about the pteridophytes, pteridophytes have the vascular tissue and that is why the pteridophytian hypothesis of origin of bryophytes is stands rejected. But algae and bryophytes both lack the vascular tissue. That means they are very close to each other. Now both have starch as a reserve food. Both have cellulose in their cell wall. So all these are similar points in mean between the green algae and the bryophytes. Now the algal hypothesis is supported by the scholar like Bower, Cavers, Smith, Campbell and Fritsch. Now algal ancestry of the bryophyte is accepted by the botanist. That is the algal hypothesis of origination of the bryophytes is accepted by today's botanist. So you have to remember the pteridophytian hypothesis of the origin of bryophytes were rejected by the botanist but the algal hypothesis of origination of bryophytes is accepted by the botanist and the very crucial role is played by the vascular tissues presence or absence that is the vascular tissues are present in the pteridophytes while algae and bryophytes both don't have vascular tissues right now there is a second thought about the origin of bryophytes. Some author says the bryophytes have polyphyletic origin and some says bryophytes have the monophyletic origin. The polyphyletic group says that the different lines of evolution produce the different groups in the bryophytes like liverworts, hornworts and the mosses. All three have different lines and that is why all three groups of bryophytes were evolved separately. But on the other hand, the monophyletic group suggests that the mosses were evolved first from the algae and from this mosses, the other two, that is the liverworts and the hornworts were developed in a unidirectional way or from the one linear line of the evolution. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please like the video. If you have any comment, please mention in the comment box. Please share this video with your friends who are studying the botany as a subject and please subscribe to botany optional channel for the upsc examination thank you very much for watching see you in the next video